So this morning I woke up in the mood to go thrift shopping. So let's head on over. Hopefully we'll find something good and then we can come back and do a little styling session. Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this beautiful colored glassware? This nice rich green will look beautiful in the fall tablescape or even in the winter. However, they're $5 a piece, which I thought was a little bit pricey for a thrift store. What are your thoughts on this crystal, I guess, candy dish? Maybe a, I don't think it's a cigarette holder. Either way, I think this is beautiful. What are your thoughts? You never know what you're gonna find at thrift stores and I love going to the dish section because sometimes I'll find things like this. These are actually plates from Target from the Project 62 line at $3 a piece. Definitely more affordable than the original price which I am assuming is more than $3. Hello beautiful, can you spot these incredible postmodern candle holders? They're matte black, they're squiggly, they're fun and they're going in my cart. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen this round coffee table I spotted at the thrift store for $15. How incredible is that? However, I did not have the truck to haul it, so I couldn't take it with me. But what would you do with this if you had it? I have a lot of fun looking through the vase section and I spotted this cutie right here. This little vase appears to be handmade, um, probably on the wheel. The color is really nice. It's reading a little yellow on camera, but it's probably more brown in person. Are you a fan of floral frogs? This one caught my attention and at $2, of course it had to go in my cart. At the moment, I'm not too interested in silver or chrome metal decor, but this little watering can caught my attention. I think it's just the very modern aesthetic of it. It looks so nice, perfect for watering some succulents or just household plants. The set of three large brass candle holders caught my attention and this would look really nice on a console if you're trying to make a large statement. What are your thoughts on this wicker vase? I think it's pretty charming and it would look great in an appropriate space. However, it wasn't for me, so I had to pass. But is this something that you would pick up or not? I was drawn into this ceramic, I guess, trinket tray. It does appear to be handmade and I did pass up on it. I just felt maybe a little too DIY. I'm not very sure what it was about it. Do you think I made a mistake and should have grabbed it? On my way out, I spotted this nice little vanity which would look nice in a kid's room, maybe painted black or refinished. Also, can you tell how excited I am about this frame I found? The first section I hit up at thrift stores is the furniture section. Sometimes they'll have incredible pieces, however, they are hot items and they will sell fast, so you have to act rather quickly. I spotted this dresser set right here. I passed up on this, it was just a little bit maybe too rustic, but it has lots of great potential, maybe painted, refinished, all of the things you can do with furniture. Speaking of which, I spotted this beauty right here. I think it's a desk. I would sand this down or strip this down and kind of just leave it natural. I really like the natural wood of this and leave, of course, the original hardware. I also encountered this coffee table and side table set, very postmodern style, which definitely has made a comeback as you can probably tell. Um, however, this just wasn't for me. I'm not really in the market for either of these. I do remember they were a pretty good price. Don't remember how much though. And of course, I spotted this beautiful vase right here. So let's head on home and do a little bit of styling with what I got. Okay, it is the next day. Yesterday I was a little tired after thrifting, so I kind of just took the night off. Today I have a thrift haul for you, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a live styling session with you over here above this credenza. Um, and yeah, let's just go with it. First things first is this art piece right here. You, maybe you might have seen this in a previous video, but I found this a couple of weeks ago at the Goodwill. I was so excited when I found this piece. It's a really nice vintage print. I really am obsessed with the colors of this and of course that gold 
guild frame, I think really just adds sort of this nice richness to it. And it's a great base piece for styling with pretty much anything. So let's do a little styling session. So I found this right here. I also found, let me see right here, hold on. I'm also gonna go ahead and put this tray right here with some books right here. Now this tray is actually a DIY. You might have seen this in my West Elm DIY video. Check it out. But I think this tray is perfect for this. Um, I do thrift a lot of the books, especially these larger books. Um, so I went ahead and stacked some black books right here. And then, so I also found these candle holders right here. These are really fun. They're kind of squiggly, uh, very modern. Um, so I'm just actually gonna just use one right here and kind of just put it on the tray itself. And the reason I love trays is you can really cluster things together and just make it so that it doesn't feel so messy or tchotchke. Like, I mean, that's just my personal taste. I really like to keep things simple, not overdo it. And a tray is just kind of perfect to hold things together. Okay, so I absolutely love branches. And if you've been following for some time, you know that I do. I like to use a lot of real branches and I actually get these from my backyard um, but I do know that many of you that want to use light branches don't have access to these so you could use fake ones or go to your grocery stores. I know Trader Joe's has a lot of branches. Maybe Google like uh, wholesale flower shops or go to your local florist. Here's a little bundle that I cut from the backyard just now and I don't just simply put it in a vase. So I'm actually going to go get a vase. Okay, so this is a vase that I actually thrifted um i think two weeks ago how cool is this vase so i have my little floral scissors right here or floral cutters and so as you can see this branch right here has a whole bunch of stems with leaves i want to show some of the stem um, when i put it in the vase i think it adds a nice little sculptural quality to it and it just looks more interesting to me so i'm gonna actually go ahead and cut the lower branches Okay, so now that I cut those off, I am actually going to take some of the leaves off because I want to see some of the stem. So I'm going to just kind of just take these bottom ones off and I do want leaves kind of towards the tips of the branch. And I think this really just makes it a little bit more dramatic. Also, when you cut the branches, kind of cut the bottom at an angle so that it kind of, there's more, I guess, surface area so that it absorbs the water. That's just what I have found to work. And by the way, I'm no pro here. I'm just, this is just what I have done. As you can see here, this is what it looks like all cleaned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the vase, um, fill it with water, and let's put some other branches in there. Take these off. And you kinda wanna just let them just fall naturally, I think. Once it looks too perfect, they start to look a little bit fake. So that's what I like to do. So this is pretty much what I would do. And then I would just, of course, fill it with water. Now I will say not every vase you can fill with water. Some of them are porous. So let me show you a trick that I do with that. Let's just take this vase, for example. Though this vase is actually a Dollar Tree DIY. Definitely check out that video if you haven't already. It's a paper mache, can you believe it? So I actually get these cylinder vases from Dollar Tree, but you can use any vase and then I will put it in here and then I will like fill it with water of course so let's just pretend I have some water in here and then I would just put it in there and that's pretty much how it would look like but back to the hall so I found this vase of course and let's just assume it has some water right now just very simple I feel like it feels a little bit balanced the greenery adds a little bit of height so let me take a quick picture of this Okay, so I don't wanna make the video too long. So for the rest of the haul, I'm just gonna share what I got and then I'll put some photos of how I style them so that you can get some ideas. So the next thing I found were these set of four candlesticks right here, um, brass. These are solid brass. Um, as you know, I collect a lot of brass candlesticks and I like this one in particular because the base has this beautiful detail, uh, hopefully that you can see, something different. Of course, I also got this twisted brass candlestick. If you follow me on Instagram, casa underscore refine, go follow me there. Um, I am always posting sort of my thrift finds there or even poll, putting a poll of whether you think I should buy something or not. Um, but 
This was definitely one of my favorite finds. I actually found this black vase right here. This is actually made out of glass and it is hand blown in Italy. Um, I think this is, I really like the silhouette of this vase right here. Would look perfect just by itself or again, branches or some fresh flowers. I have been keeping a good eye out for Ikebana vases or floral frogs and I found this right here. This, I guess it's a floral frog. It's like sort of a dish and it comes off here. Very, very minimal, made out of um, ceramic or porcelain, uh, probably porcelain. And if you haven't heard of floral frogs, basically it's a very minimalist way of, you know, creating flower arrangements. So I can put some flowers right here or some branches. I think this is really beautiful. While we're in the subject of vases, I also found this vase right here. The color of this kind of just drew me in. Even if you look at the inside of this, hopefully you can see. You can sort of see the way that this vase was created on the wheel, handmade. And I think this piece is really special. And I also found this little one right here. This is not related. This is actually in a different store, but how nice do these look together? I feel like this is the candlestick channel because I'm always buying candlestick and can't stop, won't stop. Found this steel candlestick or candelabra, I should say. How awesome is this sort of mid-century style piece? Perfect for kind of just creating a vignette. Purely focus on this piece right here because I think this is like show worthy. You all, I almost screamed when I saw this vase right here. Look at the design of this run. This is something that, you know, I follow on Instagram a lot of designers who are very minimal, um, that they bring in a lot of rich, beautiful, vintage pieces, vases, very sculptural. And this is something I definitely would see in those kind of interiors. I also found some other wall art that I'm obsessing over, so let me share that. So I found this art piece right here, hopefully you can see there. Um, I really like just the simple gold frame, the green mat board, and just like a simple print of a, uh, I guess, flower arrangement. So I don't do a lot of color around here, but I really like this piece right here. Um, it's actually an original painting, I believe. I don't think it's a print of sort of a lakefront right here with some clouds. Really nice in sort of a gallery um, wall or just by itself. And the last of the artwork I found were these two frames right here. Um, this one is in vertical and then this one is in a horizontal format. You might have seen this in a previous video um, where I used it to style, but basically these pieces right here are great. I would probably separate these two um, just because I feel like when creating a gallery wall or even just using them by itself, something like this together, it just feels a little bit too matchy-matchy. And even though they were intended for that, I feel like that's just not the design vibe that's happening right now. So I would probably just separate these out. Last but not least, meet my two new friends. These ladies right here, these two busts I found a couple of weeks ago that came together and I really like these. I've never had busts before. These are sort of this off-white creamy color made out of wood, I believe, or pla no, mm, they're made out of wood. And I don't know, I really like them. They've kind of just been floating around my home. You might've seen these on my Instagram stories. Don't know where they'll end up, but for now, I think they're kind of cool. I also want to say that I challenged myself to put all of these items together and do a little styling vignette just for fun and this is kind of what I came up with. What do you think? Alright, so that does it for today's thrift haul. I really actually had fun sourcing these pieces and just thrifting in general. I have so much fun going thrift shopping because I never know what I'm going to find. It's always a treasure hunt. And don't be fooled, it's not always a good day. In fact, most days, it's just a bust. But that's just part of the process and I'm totally into it. So I'm just curious if you had a favorite item today, let me know down in the comments below, I'd love to know. Now, if you enjoyed this video, of course, hit that like button, it would really help us out over here. Subscribe for more videos like this if you're new here. I do lots of thrifting, DIYs on this channel and more content, but Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an incredible rest of your day. And I'm gonna put a playlist of other thrifting videos that I think you might enjoy. So have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.